Hey, everyone. Second time. Um, cool. So how many have, uh, uh, have you been uh, white coding? How many of you have been white coding? OK, limited hands. I was expecting a lot more. Um, and uh, how many have been able to ship a, uh, a white coded app? Have you like shipped it? OK, fewer hands. OK, that's what we're trying to solve here. So like with Emergent, what we have done is build world's best white coding platform. Um, and we allow anybody to sort of just prompt and build ambitious apps. Um, so we take you from an idea to a workable product in minutes. And this is a journey of like what white coding looks like today. Like you start somewhere on Bolt, um, and you get frustrated. Then you move to Cursor. Um, you b build something, and then you get stuck in deployment. You sort of uh, get stuck in this doom loop, like where you know you, you're stuck with bugs and stuff like that. And that's what we're trying to solve. So if you if you go online, you'll see like most of the users are complaining about these kind of things, where they uh, try something and then they get stuck. And uh, that's where sort of Emergent comes in. We basically are an integrated platform where we have the best world's best uh, coding agent. Uh, we give you on-prem deployment, so we take care of everything uh, from coding to deployment. And we give you a lot of customization, so you can customize your own agents. Um, we are so down Sweetbench. Sweetbench is this uh, coding agent uh, benchmark. Uh, so we are uh, almost number two, number three on that right now. We just did our alpha launch a couple weeks back. Uh, we have about 4,000 users. Uh, they have built about 10,000 apps, uh, which are live on the platform. Uh, you can use the term white coding to get an invite. Uh, we'll, we'll share more invites with you as well. Um, awesome. So moving to the demo. OK, hopefully you can see us. So I'm going to give it something really simple uh, to start with. Um, let me give it uh, a clone. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So I'm just going to give it clone YouTube app as a simple example. Let's see what it is. So, so we, we, we manage all your infrastructure ourselves. So we set up the uh, deployment and all the infrastructure behind the scenes. So the agent runs in the cloud, which we run. Uh, I'll take some, some user requests if, if anybody has any app idea that they want to build. Does anybody want to give me a prompt? Huh? Build a GitHub? Uh -huh. that's, that's a good one. Let me see. Let me GitHub. <laughs> OK. So, so while this is running, uh, it takes a little bit of time to uh, get set up. I'll show you a couple of things that people have built on the platform. So this is like an e-commerce website with some sneaker uh, geek built out. And you can see the entire thing that's functional. Uh, you can search products and everything uh, here as well. Uh, this is a portfolio site that some uh, a photographer sort of recently built. And these are people with zero coding experience, like no coding experience at all. They just come, come to the platform and prompt, right? Um, this is an app that I actually built uh, recently. Uh, and here you can actually um, you can de you design your own sort of mood board. And uh, let me just show you. So this actually talks to OpenAI and generates, and it has payments integrated. So you can see that. Um, so today, most of the white coding platform basically give you just uh, like a front end. And we give you the entire back end, entire infrastructure, everything behind the scene. So uh, let me try this. OK. This one, and this has like the full payment integrated completely in the platform, and this is again built by somebody who has zero programming knowledge. Um, again, and this will call OpenAI uh, to generate a mood board image. This is another app that I just created recently. Uh, and you can see the design. And you can see like, you know, how it sort of uh, builds. So we have a design agent which sort of designs things for you. And you can start your adventure. And this is a book where you can upload your kid's photo. And uh, so I'm just going to upload one of my kid's photos. And you can select the story that you want to cre create here. And uh, it's going to create things here. So all of this was completely built on a platform like without any uh, sort of programming knowledge. So you can integrate AI, you can integrate you know, image gen, you can integrate payments. Um, all of this thing without ever uh, needing to know what, what's happening in the background in programming. Right? Um, 
So this is still building. This is a game that was built somewhere. Uh, somebody built it on a platform where you can, you know, fly and shoot things. And um, and this is this is the photo that came out with the app that I just created, right? So you can actually go and build these apps today on the platform. Uh, let me see where we are on this. This is going to ask you some question. Okay, GitHub clone. It's still building. I'm just going to say continue. So the moment you uh, give it a task, the agent is going to ask you some questions uh, around what what do you want uh, to develop, and then it'll start, sort of start developing. Um, and uh, here, actually, you can see it has done some web search. Okay, what 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 does GitHub uh, UI look like? It's going to bring some screenshot from the from the GitHub web page, uh, and then try to build build this whole app out. Uh, and it's uh, we're the first agentic vibe coding platform where where you do, you don't just get LM calls, you get a full agent. Uh, and it's going to build the entire thing out. So it takes a while, and uh, later on, and you can do full deployment within within our platform. So you can actually build and deploy everything here. We provide you with custom hosting, custom uh, domain as well. And uh, we are currently in beta and going live uh, sometime this week. Uh, so please come and try us. And uh, we are here. The, the team is here. So if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, please come and talk to us. All right. We'll... Uh, wait for this to get in. Yeah. Um, the code is what is the code we're giving? Vibe with emergent. You can use vibe with emergent. Yeah, vibe with emergent to sign up. Yeah. All right. We'll just wait for this to get done. Uh, let's take a little bit of time. Cool. We'll show you uh, towards the end of the event. We'll, we'll we'll come back and show you the apps that are, that are getting built. Uh, and then uh, please come and talk to us. And if you need more, uh, you know, input on this, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been. If there are any questions, happy to answer them. Yeah. Any questions for Emergent? I saw an almost question. All right. So you can see this is the uh, the mood board it built from this image. Yeah. Hi. Um, quick question for you. Where does the code base sit? Is it open? Like, can I? Do I own? Yeah. The so the code you you own the entire code base. You can actually access it from. Um, um, so we give you a VS Code extension. You can actually go here and uh, open the code. The code belongs to you. You you own the entire code um, uh, completely. And you can host it anywhere else you want, but we also provide you native hosting, so you can actually uh, use it. But but we give you access to the full code. Yeah. But by default, it's not like there isn't like a GitHub repo. Uh, you can connect to GitHub. We give you GitHub connection as well, so you can import and and export to GitHub as well. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Hi. Uh, could you just talk a bit about how your approach differs from the current tools like Cursor, others? Like a little bit in my vibe coding journey, like one of the challenges that seems to get caught in kind of loops, especially right. if you ask it to do something that's not, you know, very common or not in its training set. So how do you kind of handle those issues and how's it different? Right. So I mean, the two things that we do differently. One is that we give you an integrated platform. So in Cursor, you just get the coding capability. There's no deployment. There's no test. Right. Uh, in our case, we actually. You the entire platform, so all of the deployment and testing happens in our platform. Second thing is that uh, we, we are sort of fully agentic, so Cursor actually stops at like uh, every few steps. It requires a lot more human intervention. We are built for sort of long horizon tasks, so <clears throat> you can give it uh, a, a sort of a big prompt, and it, it'll keep sort of building it and testing it. Uh, and um, so let me see if I can show you here. It's not yet come, but basically, like. I mean, uh, we have different agents. It's a multi-agent platform, so there are different agents that can come in at any time of uh, uh, the execution. For example, here there's a test agent that has come in, and it'll basically take screenshot of your app. It'll basically, you know, like uh, test your app visually as well. Um, and so this multi-agent ar architecture helps us sort of go beyond what cursors and other people can do today. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we are. Uh, I mean, we are closer to Glovable in, in in the sense, yeah, yeah. From a developer experience, yes. Like we like we are built for primarily for non-developers, right? So the idea is that like you know, um, uh, but from capability-wise, we can build apps as complex as Cursor. Okay. 
Yeah, you can you can you can take the code and and bring it there. Yeah. And not not today, not today. Yeah. yeah. Any more? All right, one back up there. You are left. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, so mostly today we are built for Greenfield, um, but we will be expanding to Brownfield as well. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so yeah, I mean, we uh, currently are built for mostly Greenfield today. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. Thank you so much. Well, thank, thank you so you much. much.